Hey Dutch, Daphne here. Thank you for sending in your next essays. Well done working so hard. Okay, so let's look at this. So you've got 261, a little bit short on words. And I'm just trying to work out the organization on this because is that your introduction? And then are these your paragraphs? Because this is very, very long for an introduction. Your introduction needs to be like three sentences. So ideally it should stop here, the introduction. Yeah. Um, and then you can see that that paragraph is quite, quite nice. That's fine. This paragraph should be longer. So you need to get a really nice balance here. So three, four lines for the intro, then a good main body paragraph, and then a second good main body paragraph, and then about three, four lines for the conclusion. That's really, really important for the coherence. That affects the marks that you're going to be given for the organization and how easy it is for the examiner to read. Okay. Right. Uh, give reasons for your answer. Sorry, hang on, the question. These days, more and more people are traveling in domestically and internationally. Uh, many benefits, but also some who argue it has drawbacks. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages. Okay. So you have to do discuss both. With dramatically developed transport technology, traveling to a remote place does not remain a dream. Okay. Uh, the primary option of some travelers is traveling abroad like flying to a tropical island and tasting delicious exotic food. While domestic traveling is more attractive for others, they might prefer driving to a modern tram. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, now, we wouldn't start a sentence like that with while. It's a connecting word, so it has to come in the middle. So the primary option for some tra travelers, the primary, maybe not primary option, maybe primary choice, of some travellers, so double L, is abroad, is venturing abroad. You wouldn't want travellers and travelling like that in the same sentence. You could have venturing abroad. You don't even need to have this because you can put that into your body paragraph. Yeah. So take that out. The primary choice of some travellers is travelling abroad, while domestic travelling is more attractive for others who might prefer. You don't need that who might prefer uh, driving to a modern metropolis and experiencing superior su service and commodities. Okay, all right, that's fine. Um, with dramatically developed transport technology, we've got traveling, traveling, traveling all over the place, okay? So, holidaying or working or um, doing business, maybe. It doesn't have to be you know, it, it doesn't say, it just says people are traveling, it doesn't say holiday. So I think we need to make this a bit wider. So with dramatic developed transport technology, holidaying or doing business uh, in a remote place, mm, I would go in a foreign country, country, Uh, it does not remain a dream. You very much set this on holidays, and I want to just broaden this out into business, and I think that will give you more chance to talk about different things because um, you're just going to limit this to holidays, which means you're going to run out of things to say. Do you see what I mean? Think big on these topics and try and get a, a wide answer that gives yourself more of a chance. Although there are apparent, drawback, apparent benefits, some people maintain their opinions about its drawbacks. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay, and that, that's a little bit of a, a filler sentence. Um, I don't think you need it. Um, I think you can go um, this essay, both traveling styles, both traveling, traveling styles, benefits and flaws. Okay, um, why don't you say the some of the key issues surrounding different kinds of travel or different mm, key issues and maybe difficulties surrounding different kinds of traveling different kinds of traveling don't put traveling styles traveling will be discussed 
Okay, then I think that works. So just simplify that intro a little bit. It's really important that you have a good, good introduction and the examiner can see what you're good at. They're going to make up their minds immediately. Mm, are you a band six? Might you be getting near a band seven? Um, if they have to look at this with a lot, takes a long time, that's not good. You want to make the introduction really, really good. So having an international trip can allow visitors to experience things with exotic features. Um, having, taking, we take a trip, we don't have a trip. So taking an international trip can allow visitors to experience things. Experience. Mm. Things with exotic features. So, so don't go things with. Things is not very kind of high level, is it? To experience exotic rather than features, rather than to exotic um, monuments. Um, delicious meals. Um, original art and museums. You're going to have to use a different adjective with each of these because it doesn't work just to have exotic for everything. So work hard on your language. Okay? So exotic monuments, delicious meals, original arts, blah, 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 blah. Okay? In, in a, another, an alternative uh, context. So you, you're going somewhere else to... Um, so that is nice. So traveling can let you do this. Okay, so that's a good strong topic sentence there. They, uh, this is the visitors, can also gain knowledge and broaden their horizons, that's plural, uh, through integrating with local culture. Excellent. Um, now, here I give me all the advantages. So really keep this organized, this, uh, yeah? All the advantages and then disadvantages. It, it's kind of really nice, this essay, because it's really kind of logical way of laying it out. So here are all the advantages. Okay. So, language bar. Okay, so I would build more on the advantages now. Okay. So that's on the international trip. Okay, domestically. Yeah, holiday makers. Yeah, are able to better understand uh, areas outside the uh, region where they live, and similarly. So similarly, international uh, may benefit from reducing stress or whatever. Yeah, exploring nature. But just give me a little bit, a bit more about the sort of things. Um, or if you're going to build it into business, you can talk about it into business as well. You know, a businessman also can do business in different areas, can widen their field, can make international contacts, that sort of stuff. So give me all the positive things. Then, however, yeah, some disadvantages to appropriate manners in the homeland might be regarded as rude or even uh, inappropriate manners, maybe. So the wrong manners, inappropriate manners, uh, we're just even illegal by natives, which could cause unnecessary conflict and punishment. In China, littering in public is not a severe issue. The ticketives, they do so in countries with strict demand. Really? Another problem is, so brilliant, could make it, could make it hard for travellers. It goes that way. Could make it hard for travellers to ask then to make something hard for someone who could make it hard for travelers uh could i'm not sorry make it goes in here it hard for travelers to ask for help okay so make something hard for someone is how it goes make it hard for travelers to ask for help when they get in trouble fantastic that's great that's nicely done 
So domestic places. Exactly. So this is an advantage. Bring it up here. Okay. It's much more logical to do it like this. The examiner has to read so many essays, hundreds of essays. Make it easy for them. Okay. Make it really easy. Make a, you, your structure should be super clear. This is the coherence. Okay. Um, right. Not sure what that what you want to say there. Okay. Overall. Deserves all the travel effort. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the other big thing that a lot of students talk about here is the environment and spreading disease, which is obviously relevant now. Those are big drawbacks to travel. So I kind of think I would say my message on this one would be think big. Yeah, think globally, think what's going on. So yes, lovely to go and travel. Yeah, but disadvantage rather than writing about ticketing. Okay, I, I get the under, not understanding rules, but I also think you could write about the environment um, that planes around the world is not good. Okay, so my conclusion, I'd say, yes, lovely to go abroad, but there are some serious issues which should be taken into consideration before travel. Yeah, that would be how I do it. Okay, so good work. I can see you're really, really working hard on this. It is difficult, isn't it? Trying to get it exactly right all the time. But well done. Well done. Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, the figure. It's not really a figure, is it? It's a bar chart. Illustrates global questionnaire. The popularity of different film types. Okay. In general, males, apostrophe S. Favourites are action and comedy movies. Romantic ones attract the smallest number of them. Yeah, good, nice. Women favour comedy films most, um, but most uh, go, do use this nice contrasting, whereas uh, only a few of them enjoy animation. Okay? Or animation films. So only a few is quite nice, and whereas is a nice, good contrasting word there. Comedy is the most popular type of movie in total, but animation is the least welcome one. Okay, good. That's a nice for the overall. Well done. You can say overall. Yeah, you don't have to have that. As for each type of movie, the obvious differences. Okay, good. Give me the details now. Uh, one. So, 130 men, yep, said they liked action movies, but only age two. Good. Good, good. More women. Not, don't use these ones. Be careful on your linking words. So you want, like, whereas is lovely. Okay. You can have in contrast. So they have to have different words from task two. In contrast, four more, far more women interviewed. And this report showed interest in romantic ones than men. Good. Almost all different. Okay, nice. Uh, no, no in conclusions. We don't have that. Okay. Um, you could start with what you could start with while here actually though while men and women have the same appetite for comedy movies keep going nevertheless the data from writing presents differences in taste of film okay you have to talk about everything so you have to mention horror drama um, you haven't mentioned those and action uh, you or you have mentioned action but you haven't mentioned horror and drama you must say Uh, comedy movies, okay. Uh, the numbers for horror and uh, what do we say? Drama films uh, differed between the sexes with uh, men preferring. A drama uh, and women preferring horror. Oh no, other way around. Sorry, I thought that was a bit strange. Uh, women, okay, and men preferring horror films. So you must mention all of them, and then nonetheless. Okay, that's looking much better. Look, the shape is better. You've got this lovely thing with no detail. You've got this with more detail. You're making the connections. Good work. Well done.